Good evening, Super Metroid Randomizer fans. That's right. War of Season 3 Super Metroid Item Randomizer League action coming your way. Tonight we have a very special presentation for you. We've got Nasarius and Lomian Jones of the Clippers against Kishmo and Woody of Team Team. Coming into this race, Team Team stands at 10 and 2, having clinched the Z Factor division. But those Clippers over in the redesigned division, they are looking to clinch a playoff position of their own. My name is the Hockey Towner, and it gives me great pleasure to be bringing you this race. This is Area Randomizer using the Varia Logic Major Minor Mix Up Item. Plus a little bit of, just for a little bit of seasoning at the top, just a little mwah, a little chef's kiss right at the end, right on the palate, is Boss Randomizer. So you can see Kishmo, oh my gosh, playing as the Baby Metroid. You can't, you don't even have to find the Baby Metroid. You are the Baby Metroid. Incredible sprite. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting race because this is an absolutely bonkers way of uh of randomizing this wonderful storied game so typical to any rando that you've seen before our runners are going to be heading down into retro brinstar hoping to find that morph ball it's, uh, it's extremely likely that they will oh my goodness the shock of all shockers can you believe it they have found the morphing ball at its vanilla location. Now, before you say, is this even randomized, chat? I assure you it is. They rolled the seed beforehand. But, uh, yeah, no sweat. They're getting some early power bombs and a vanilla E-tank for Nasarius. Everyone else went minor. Now, what's interesting as well, another wrinkle to this week's uh, Week 7 action. I believe this is the final week. But don't be too upset because there's plenty of playoff action heading your way in the weeks to come. But as I was saying, the thing about this is, as you can see, there are four runners. This is a 2v2. It is cooperative. And they are able to converse with each other. So being a good team player, letting your, letting your, team, <laughs> letting your opponent know, no. Letting your teammate know about the things that you find if you decide to go somewhere else. Very vital to success in this type of race. So, who knows where the bosses are? Who knows where the areas will branch off, where they will converge? And there's a super missile behind the morphing ball location, those power bombs being extremely important. So, we have all miners picked up in Retro Brinstar. That's going to be very important as our runners make the way back to the surface and so we find a, a completely jumbled planet Zebus. You can see Team Team Woody finding those missiles below Old Mother Brain. Nothing too interesting has unfolded yet as our runners head up into the climb here. I've always said that the climb is what separates the neophyte Super Metroid speedrunners from the seasoned veterans. Woody putting those ledge grabs to, into practice, but you notice he does neither of, uh, I should say, Team Team picked up those supers behind the morphing ball. So they do not have access to green doors right now. And, uh,. That just, I, you might even say that Team Team is green with envy right now. <laughs> you get it, Chad? Because super missiles are green and they open green doors. So, you know, we'll try to keep the humor to a minimum during this, uh, during this race and let the runners do their talking for us. Okay, so super missiles at the 230 missile location. So Kish is going to pick up those super missiles. <laughs> wipe that sweat from your brow hockey there's no sweating no sweat for team team but uh you can see now every runner is pretty much in parlor we got a little bit of divergence oh, i'm sorry woody going to 230 missiles i i uh, i stand corrected 
but uh yeah who knows who knows where things are gonna go it's anyone's guess we might see a, a gauntlet check here it's really tough with this loadout or we just see where the green door off of landing site is gonna take Lomi and Jones it's anybody's game right now and did you did you see what was it bomb Teresa it wasn't bombs because uh Nasarius was able to get out of there with no problem but uh yeah just a lot of exploration still to be done it's a beautiful ship isn't it a cloud with a pipe sticking out of it you don't see that every day it's like Lomi and Jones setting up for a little CWJ here meanwhile Nasarius and uh Woody grabbing that Terminator E-Tank so both teams with the same general strategy uh one runner each went to moat but it looks like kish is going downtown and uh lomi jones uh might be resetting oh no he's just gonna go down to the brinstar elevator so you see kish has found his way into Craig's warehouse woody on the other hand is taking the time to reflect on the decisions that have led him to this point in his life and now blowing open the wall with a super missile into the normal vanilla Crades warehouse entrance. But who, where is it going to take him now? Nasari is finding Meridia. That's interesting. Who even knew? Who even knew? It's a red tower for Woody. Oh, I just love that morph ball animation. That is just too, too, too good. So, very good intel. Not a lot of item pickups for our runners here in the first 10 minutes, but tons and tons of info. And I hope you've got a pen and paper or maybe a tablet at home, chat. I hope you're taking notes because there will be a quiz at the end. I won't be proctoring that quiz. Oh, no, I'm simply a commentator, just an ordinary potato coming across these airwaves, <laughs> across this internet made out of tubes. All the way into your homes, bringing you this wonderful randomizer race. So really, uh, looks like Kish has found Dragon. That's going to be really good to know for later. How about Ice Beam at high jump boots for the Clippers? Very nice pickup. That will give access to, uh, to Batwoon. No uh, Crystal Flash clip required. It also makes uh, for a pretty decent, pretty repeatable, I should say, um, Zeb skip. And Woody finding a space jump. I believe that was at, I believe that was at ice. So we're starting to we're st <laughs> we're starting to set things in motion here, Chad. It's starting to get a little bit more interesting. Looks like the Clippers have found Dragon as well. Don't uh, don't make fun of the way I say dragon. Everyone says dragon. I prefer dragon. But in a, in a brief, a couple more item pickups in brief time, uh, dragon will be dragon for both teams. So that's no problem. Uh, they're saying in my ear that I'm contractually obligated to no longer make bad jokes while commentating. So, Chad, this will actually be the last race I ever commentate because I'm going to keep making terrible puns. All right. If you're just as lost as I am, I feel sorry for you. I have no idea where anyone is or where they're going. Ooh, Woody getting annihilated by that tiny Deskiga, small Deskiga, taking a death here. Not what you want to see, but eight and a half minutes in, he knows where to go and what to do to, to get items that he needs. So unfortunate for Team Team to take a death there. Uh, the Clippers could definitely capitalize on that uh, early error, but... Uh, it's, it's no telling what's going to happen. There's no telling what's going to happen. Nasarius with Space Jump now. Great pickup. And how about that? How about a beautiful CWJ from Kishmo crossing the moat and winding up back here in this little brief segment of Meridia teased in the vanilla game when you pass through that too. But, oh, and Nasarius also taking a death, unfortunately. But I believe he has a save in Norfair. 
Excellent, excellent. As I said, I think he has a save in Norfair. Norfair appeared on his screen, so I definitely wasn't paying attention. But, uh, you know. How about Spazer at Spazer? What a ripoff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable seed so far. Very challenging early. We'll see if it'll get easier as their item loadout improves. You now see Lomian Jones back into Retro Brin. He's going to check out what's behind door number three once he blows away those giant side hoppers. But Woody just going to take the time to get some of those items back. And where is Lomian Jones going to end up now? Why? He's at West Ocean. Oh my goodness. Anyone who saw that coming must have ESPN. You know, that's that thing where you can read people's minds. But uh, probably also going to get yanked from commentary duty because I'm uh, plugging very, uh, very popular sports networks. But you know what? I'd love to see this. I'd love to see Randomizer League picked up by a major network. You'd just love to see it. Now, going back to what I said at the beginning, for anybody joining us, this is Super Metroid Item Randomizer League Season 3 co-op area major minor and boss rando race between the clippers and team team so for the for team team it's uh it's not critical perhaps that they get this w but for the clippers a lot is riding on this so they could clinch they could actually clinch a playoff spot i believe chat can always correct me i i welcome the correction we can use our collective mind to arrive at the truth but until we do i'm just going to make the assertion that the clippers are looking to clinch a playoff spot with a victory over team team it's been an incredibly competitive and compelling season of randomizer league this year uh, the team aspect has taken it to new heights never before dreamed of by anyone in Super Metroid speedrunning until now. And so you see Lomian Jones is in wreck ship, making his way to what is presumably a boss door. Who knows what's behind it? And it is Ridley. That is extremely unfortunate, but also a good thing to know. So wreck ship hides the space pelican and we also have dragon somewhere else uh yes doc woody died he got blasted by his diskiga little tiny diskiga little itty bitty diskiga not one of those big ones in lower norfair they don't they don't grow them that big in upper norfair you got to get down closer to the core the higher radiation levels allow the diskigas to grow huge massive you know, that's that's what the instruction manual said. But anyway, got a quick and tidy refill from Nasaria says Lomian Jones making his way back down Terminator. I should say making his way for the first time down Terminator, picking up that E tank. And yeah, team team finding Ice Beam at high jump boots, great pickup. And we're gonna have an X-ray check from Nasarius. Now in other seeds, X-ray has had some really, really uh Really nice pickups. And with Space Jump, it should be no sweat to get across this very deadly room. So the Sarius with great Space Jump rhythm. Lomi Jones into Business Center looking for that Ice Beam. At high, high jump. But also Space Jump at Ice. It's a really nice kind of one-two punch. And how about that? How about that commentator? How about, how about that runner? How about Nasarius picking up Speed Booster at X-Ray? Speed Booster will allow Nasarius and the other runners, once they pick up their Speed Booster, to travel with increased speed. And uh, it's the, the increased speed is directly proportional, usually, to completion of the game speed measured in minutes and seconds. So very, very crucial pickup here early. You can check out what's at wreck ship. You can do all sorts of other fun things. It makes crossing the moat so much easier. So 
really great pickup for the Clippers here. Let's hope that Team Team can also check X-Ray once they both acquire Space Jump, of course. Although it is possible to get across with damage boost. It's a very uh that's a very challenging strat, but it can be done, and it, I always find it so impressive when runners do that. But, you know, if you don't have to do it, it's better to not have to do it. You know what I mean? Oh, and Kish uh, couldn't escape from ice with no Varia suit taking that heat damage, but he does have a save down there in the upper Norfair. So he could just dust himself off and try again. It's pretty tight with only one with only one tank. Very challenging to get that item. But uh like I said, he can just dust himself off and try again if he wants to. Woody though picking up space jump. Nasarius is across the moat. Lawman Jones with a reset. We we're bringing the play by play to you, Speed Gaming. We're banging on all cylinders here, bringing you this randomizer league season three race. It's just absolutely incredible. You love to see the randomization. You love to see the intricacy of the seeds. Where could the items be? I have no idea. What is this logic that you people speak of? I have no clue what any of that means. Who even knows what it means? But we need a Varia suit. We really need a Varia suit. It feels like that's got to be the next item to pick up gotta find something that will allow progression gotta think deep gotta use that incredibly amazing wrinkled brain to to determine where to go and what to do and when that is what they have to do because the the team that has both members completing the seed first will be the winner today and like I said, for team, for team the Clipper, for no, for the Clippers, there is a lot riding on this race. This is the last race of the season, and so, well, I, I think it's last of a pair of races. I haven't dug into the schedule too much, but you know, like that's good. Good chats taking notes. It's excellent to see. Great hell away from Nasarius. Health for Woody could be better. He's going to want to refill, perhaps at the Sloter's refill, right next door, right at the bottom here of Red Tower. Excellent move by Woody. Really like the, really like the visit to Sloter's refill there. But you can see on the trackers, the item loadout is pretty much identical. Lomian Jones just missing the Spazer, but he can always go to Spazer and get the Spazer. But uh, yeah, pretty challenging so far. We're we're almost twenty minutes in. And the only movement item that our runners have really found is the space jump. So it, you, you aren't a chump if you have space jump. On the contrary, I find it one of the best items in the game uh, by a country mile. And uh, for our for our European and rest of the world viewers, a uh, country mile is equivalent to uh, what is it? Uh, One point six uh, rural kilometers. So. You know, I just did, you know, you just have to do that conversion in your head. But, uh, yeah, speed booster at X-Ray. Hopefully there won't be anything corny about my jokes for the rest of this run. But here we have an interesting check from Nisarius. This is great because there's a bunch of miners. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? We have ourselves a suit. We've got the suit, chat. We've got Gravity Suit. Look at that. I've never seen a Lavender or a Fuchsia Metroid before. Gravity Suit at Brinstar Reserve Tank. The, the spine-tingling pickup of the race so far. Less than 20 minutes in, so that means they gotta be thinking Meridia. They just gotta. You got the two. You got other entrance. I know we saw, we saw uh, Aqueduct or something close to it. A little while ago don't ask me to tell you where or how but uh that is a great pickup 
My goodness, no heat protection in randomizer. That's that's contrary to the vanilla game, but this is anything but vanilla. This is like Superman ice cream combined with, you know, a little bit of Thai chili with some cornflakes on top. I don't know, something esoteric and hipstery and delicious ice cream combination that just smacks you right in the taste buds. Oh my goodness, and now Varia suit at the bottom of Brit Star. I don't believe this. Uh, both suits have been found with Space Jump. Uh, go mode, almost. You just have to have Charge Beam and about a million times more uh, ammo if Charge Beam isn't found. But this is sensational. Uh, the world, uh, these runners, the world is your toaster. I should say oyster. I get them confused from time to time. Uh, do not put a piece of bread in an oyster. It will not toast. Uh, this is a PSA brought to you by the Hockey Town. And that's my name. But how about these runners' names? Nasarius and Lomian Jones representing the Clippers. Kishmo and Woody representing Team Team. And that is, wow. Nasarius and Kish, both with very similar loadouts. But Nasarius with the advantage with that speed booster. Chad asks, are the teams allowed to talk to each other and discuss? Yes. So this is a co-op race. The teams are in communication with each other. They are working together. They're talking. They're strategizing, uh, executing their movement, their tactics. Outstanding stuff. So it's great to see teams. Teamwork makes the dream work. And the dream is, of course, winning the Super Metroid item Randall Rand <laughs> Randomizer League Season 3. Guys. Sho shoved an extra L in there. No big deal. But this is a great check from Kish. We got uh, also Nasarius. We've got the Wavegate check. Vanilla E-Tank. Could have been any other flavor, but it had to be vanilla. How unfortunate. But speed boosters for everybody but Kish. But how about Gravity Suit at Brinstar Reserve? Varia at bottom of Brin. I don't believe it. This is the second time in recent memory where I've seen and been on comms and had double suits in the same area of the game. I think it's got to be a hockey commentator blessing. It's got to be. It's got to be. And I, I'm, I, I hear a voice in my ear from our producer saying, cut down the self-promotion hockey. Oh my gosh, charge beam at charge. I don't believe it. No ammunition required except for the bare minimum, which our runners already have. But, uh, yeah, that's, wow. Everything is open to them. They just have to figure out where to go and how to do it. That's easy, right? I do like this ammo pickup from Kish. More supers, more better. It definitely makes the run, makes the boss fights way better. You'll ask any Super Metroid speedrunner, how do you get better at the game? They'll always say the same thing. Practice your boss fights. Practice your boss fights. Yes, that sprite of Kish's is unbelievable. I absolutely adore it. But uh, Nasarius, too, with a great purple and black uh, paint job on that gravity suit. Fantastic stuff. So all runners have all suits. Kish has just got to go to X-Ray. Got to get that speed booster. We got to have it. Uh, shout outs to all the trackers who have helped through Randomizer League Season 3. The uh, the unsung heroes of the season. You None of this would be possible without them tracking and marking the items done. Uh, special shout outs to 2D Tones. Uh, doing a phenomenal job at tracking really appreciate everything that you do for uh for super metroid speed running especially randomizer and this is if you haven't noticed this is speed gaming thank you very much to speed gaming for hosting super metroid on randomizer league season three kish is into kind of the forgotten highway ish part of meridia with that gravity and Varius suit and ice beam, so Batwoon easy to get to, no sweat, no no muss, no muss, no fuss. 
But uh, really going to be interested to see with this, within the first half hour, getting pretty much everything they need. Almost everything they need. Everything they need and almost everything they want. It's interesting. Who's going to take control? Who is going to take control of the race? It's anybody's ball game right now. No bosses have been defeated by either team, and that's absolutely okay. Pacifist runs of Super Metroid are discouraged, but I appreciate the runner's devotion to, you know, attempting it. You know, at least give it the old the old try. But it looks like Lomi and Jones still got to pick up that charge beam at charge. He just stopped and got that wave tank. <laughs> you got me there, chat. No bosses defeated by either Team Team or the Clippers. I love that. Oh, that caught me unawares. Like a deer in headlights, hockey paused and began chuckling. Maybe even a full guffaw. Well done, well done. Charge beam for Lomi and Jones. Check it. Ship it. It's got everything. But, uh... Yeah, Kish is into Aqueduct now. Really interesting. That's a good, that's a good prediction, chat. Vanilla bombs at speed booster. We're about to find out from Nasarius. Woo! Oh, you better play the lottery. You better play the lottery, chat. That's right. Vanilla, or I should say uh, plain old. I always say that. I always call them vanilla bombs, but there's nothing vanilla about those bombs being a speed booster. But yeah, plain old normal bombs, infinite bomb technology at speed booster. It's a great pickup. You got to have something like that. Uh, it definitely makes the run a lot comfier. And how about this from Woody? How about a croc check? But uh, Kish has said, death to snakes, defeating the water sausage known as Botwoon. That's right, Chad. I pronounce all Meridia bosses wrong to you. That's okay. And high jump boots at Botwoon Bo E-Tank. Botwoon E-Tank. Spring ball at Norfair Reserve. My gosh, the movement. It's raining movement items. Go outside and hold up a bucket. Maybe you'll catch yourself a spring ball or a bombs or a or a high jump boots. Incredible, incredible stuff so far. Now we're cooking, chat. We're just gonna turn into a boss rush here in a little bit. Our runners are getting strapped up with all these great items. Speed, uh, I should say, spring ball validates the run. So even though team team might win the race it won't be a validated win if they don't pick up spring ball that's unofficial rules we do have uh tournament organizers and uh volunteers and things that would uh set the record straight but it's just my opinion you got to pick up spring ball so kish is uh trying to farm up health ammunition to full Trying to get some power bombs. Because who knows who's behind Dragon? We, I think uh, we have Ridley at Rex Ship. And we have... It must be uh, Dragon at Crade. How about this wave beam? Okay, full any percent new route. PRKD loadout. Plus, you know, space jump. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic items so far. But uh, that means Ridley's got to be either... It's Ridley and Dragon could be Kraid or Fantoon. So we're about to find out from Kish here who could be whom. Uh, Doc, boots were at Botoon E-Tank. And we do have Kraid at Dragon. You see Kish with a little lag reduction setup looking for that missile Kraid quick kill. And a timely save from Woody. How about a spacer pickup for Lomi and Jones? 
Asarius into Meridia, still continuing the exploration, trying to find where to, what did I say earlier, where to go and how to do it. And Kish rewarded with an E-Tank behind crates, so that brings his energy up to the minimum required to complete the game with three tanks and Varia suit. Screw attack at Mama Turtle. Screw attack is just a phenomenally OP pickup. I'm curious to see what team team is going to do here because, I mean, they have a great loadout. Um, although Kish never got the booster. His speed is not boosted, Chad. His speed is standard. Standard speed. Whereas the other runners have boosted speed. So... Very curious to see if that could make a difference. Really nice spark kills on these uh, metal pirates, ninja pirates, whatever you want to call them, by Woody. And here we have a backwards Lower Norfair entry by Nasarius. Very cool to do. Avoids the acid just expertly, while his teammate Lomian Jones is into Botwoon. Just pounding Botoon with those super missiles. The worst hitbox in the game. Deer Force, what were you thinking? Might have hit it a little too hard the night before when they programmed that hitbox. But in making short work of Botoon is Lomian Jones. No sweat. Really nice fight. And here's Fantoon. Fantoon at Ridley. Woody, 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 woody. Rocking everywhere. Busting those ghosts. Should be a very comfy fight with this item loadout. And, uh, but Nasari is close behind. So Nasari is at Fireflea. You know, I think it's anyone's race right now. Uh, Lemon Jones went for full half. He didn't quite have that shine spark stored so that's another interesting piece of information chat for those of you unfamiliar with the item loadout of super metroid the speed booster does not just re result in boosted speed but you can actually charge what's called a shine spark and turn energy into a very rapid movement in several directions and that is the shine spark lomian jones setting up to do battle with kraid not going to let Kraid stand up. That's a commentator blessing. I'm just handing out the blessings left and right. Hockey's blessings. But uh, don't worry. The train is still rolling. Opens up four. Four. Count them. One, two, three, four. Supers delivered. External delivery to Kraid's mouth. Defeating Kraid. Very nicely done. Rewarded with that E-Tank. Phenomenal fight. And now Nasari is going to go do battle with the ghost with the most reset runs. That is Fantoon, normally boss of the wrecked ship. So because this is boss rando, uh, defeating Fantoon down here in Lower Norfair will activate and unlock the wrecked ship. But our runners have all that they want. I mean, come on. Wave beam, ice beam, spacer beam, charge beam, both suits, speed booster. Uh, a few miners, just enough miners to get through the game. Like, that's it. They don't even need to check wreck ship. Thank goodness they didn't, because they would have been in for a very, 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 very bad surprise. You know, surprises are supposed to be good, and this one would have been bad. Nobody likes a bad surprise, least of all these two amazing Titan, Titanic teams. And they're not Titanic because they hit an iceberg. They're Titanic because of their skill, their devotion, their creativity, their teamwork. All of the above will take them to victory and hopefully into the playoffs. But we already know Team Team has clinched their division. And I believe the Clippers are looking to clinch as well. The sheer size of these competitors, they're absolutely huge. My good, Woody goes about nine foot tall. Nasari is not far behind at uh, eight foot 11 and three quarters. No, no, I'm just kidding. But anyway. 
Thank you for correcting me, chat. Yes, division's out of reach for the Clippers, but they can clinch a playoff spot, I believe, with a victory here. So you don't have to win the division necessarily to make the playoffs, although it is helpful. But as chat corrected me, yes, it is out of reach for the Clippers. But you know it's not out of reach for the Clippers? Making the playoffs. That's right. And Crade's, the, the janitor's closet of Crade's warehouse open thanks to defeating Crade. Down there in Lower Norfair in Ridley's normal, normal spot. Only gives up an energy tank. But uh, great energy for the Clippers. You see uh, Team Team running a little bit leaner. You know, Woody's got four, Kish has got three, and Woody's ammo, 15 and 20, 15, that's very scarce. But uh, with charge beam at charge beam, no team really devoted to checking miners and picking up ammo very early. Uh, that's a great location for a save point. I love it. Gotta hit that, absolutely save there. You don't see that every day. But you do see it today, April 15th, 2021, broadcasting from Speed Gaming. Super Metroid Item Randomizer League Season 3 just gets the blood pumping through the system. Just gets me just so excited to see these competitors, see these runners engaged in Mortal Kombat. Lomian Jones clearing away the goop with a powerbomb for you novice Super Metroid runners. Bet you didn't know you could do that learn something new every day and we're bringing it by the minute the things you can learn in this game tonight and how about that finishes off dragon with a beautiful shine spark no reason to check the item just gonna beat feet out of there space jump spammable underwater just mash that jump button no problems at all for the clippers so that means that plasma's now open for a check, but I don't think our runners are going to be making any more checks. I really don't. Like I said, this is devolved. Should I say devolved? I take it back. This has evolved into a boss rush. Not a super powerful loadout. You don't have an exceptional number of supers and you have no plasma beam, but still really good loadout, really good seed. Uh, Shoutouts to 2D Tones, our illustrious tracker tonight. Uh, 2D Tones and I were talking in the green room before the match, and said, uh, 2D said, I hope that they have a good seed. Well, 2D, they definitely got one. It's been entertaining thus far, and it's only going to get better. Only going to get better for these runners. As they continue to progress, you can see, I think, judging by boss completion, the Clippers have jumped out to a pretty decent lead here. Uh, team Team only has one boss each completed, whereas Lomian Jones has defeated two, and Nasarius has defeated Fantoon. I believe Fantoon was at... Fantoon was at... It's like when you it's like when you hear a dot matrix printer print. It's like... like the gears are turning, hockey. Better grease those gears up in that old skull. Honestly, I don't remember, but it was it was either Ridley or Dragon, because it wasn't Rex Ship. Rex Ship was Ridley. Oh, I guess it's not that important. But I just really want to know, Chad. Just tell me, tell me, Chad. Tell me. I just want to know the answer. <laughs> Oh, we love to have fun here on Speed Gaming and in Super Metroid Randomizer League. If you're watching and you've ever wanted to get into Super Metroid speed running, whether it's vanilla or rando, be sure to join the community discords. Reach out to somebody and just be like, hey, I see that you're running this game and I want to run this game too. So just copy paste that into your DMs and send it. Blow up every inbox for any runner you know and it'll be fine. Okay, here's our answer, chat. Kishmo's going into Ridley, and he's going to become into Fantoon. There it is. Thank you, Chad. Fantoon at Ridley. Very, very good. But, uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful game to speedrun, commentate, track.
view, all of the above. And this seed and these teams are no different. They have definitely delivered on the entertainment factor. A very clever seed with some early suits and some early beams. Definitely required the best memory possible in mankind ever. And Kishwa has defeated Fantoon. Very nice fight. But here, I guess I'm making a liar out of myself. Here you have Woody looking for miners in the wrecked ship. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, but I feel like he has everything he needs. We got double Ridley fights from the Clippers, delivering those super missiles, baiting Ridley into a pogo pattern, and then just delivering the ordnance, just pounding away with all that ammunition, all those supers. Nasarius bringing a, a, a maximum of 40. Lomin Jones not far behind with 30. But uh, damage per second very high with uh, a lot of supers, especially against Ridley. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, but supers do double damage against Ridley. Or maybe that's some other boss, but I know Chad will... Chad's got my back. And you know what? I've got Chad's back. No problem. Yeah, Spring Ball. Spring Ball is at uh, Upper Norfair Reserve. Now that there's a Lower Norfair Reserve, maybe it should just be Norfair Reserve. But uh, yeah, Spring Ball picked up by Nasarius. And both Ridley's defeated for Team The Clippers. Here's Woody's attempt at, at Ridley. It will be victorious. But you can see Lomian Jones just has a single boss to fight. But uh, Nasarius does have to trek all the way through Meridia to get to Kraid. So that could be somewhat time consuming. It could be somewhat time consuming. Ooh, here's a predicament to be in. Kish does not have normal bombs. Oh, he's gonna have to reset. No power bombs. He's soft locked. That is unfortunate. Oh yes, five supers delivered to Fantoon. Yeah, five supers ought to do the trick. If you like taking an hour to fight Fantoon and possibly dying if you don't know how to pseudo screw it. Down. But uh yeah, kind of a bummer. A big bummer for team team there. That's gonna set them back quite a bit. But uh, Woody has defeated Ridley. Very nice fight. And uh, Nasarius made his way down the Forgotten Highway. Trying to break into Meridia here. Or maybe it... Yeah, it should go to it should go to Meridia. I think. I don't know, chat. Let me, let me cons consult my documentation here. And who knows where they're going to end up. Maybe they'll end up in... You know, yeah, there you go. Red Tower. See, I knew it. I knew it, chat. I knew that's where they're going to be. I just knew it. I had a I had a gut feeling. But uh, yeah, I think with that untimely death from Kish, I think the Clippers are in firm command of this race. But it ain't over till it's over. Anything could happen between now and victory for either team. But it's definitely been it's been an entertaining seat as we said. Don't judge me, Doc. <laughs> I ran out of paper. I've been writing all these notes on a Snickers wrapper. Because hungry, why wait? Grab a Snickers, no problem. Uh, this uh, randomizer league is not endorsed nor sponsored by the Mars Company or Snickers brand candy bars. But you know what it is brought to you by? It's viewers like you at home supporting this channel and supporting this league, tuning in. You could have done anything else on with your Thursday, and instead you decided to join us for Super Metroid Item Randomizer League Season 3, Clippers versus Team Team, Nasarius and Lomian Jones taking command against Kishmo and Woody. But like we said, chat, it ain't over till it's over. So, don't run into a Sova. <laughs> oh, my groan. Get this guy off the mic. 
My goodness, where does he come up with these terrible jokes? Ugh. But anyway, we're just getting we're just getting warmed up, chat. We're just we're 44 minutes in. We've got most of the bosses defeated for the Clippers. But that don't count out Team Team. Team Team is a great team. They show excellent teamwork in comp competition. Great sportsmanship. No reason to ice clip for Nasarius. He's got speed boost. You're going to do battle with that water snake, Botwoon. Worst hitbox in the game, as aforementioned. And Lumen Jones going down into lower norfair going the back way since those crumble blocks don't exist in area rando how interesting for those of you who have been watching for a while you know this is area rando but for those of you just tuning in area rando takes areas of the game like discrete sets of rooms and just kind of jumbles them all together in a wonderful mess we just absolutely love it. Welcome in Raiders Speed Gaming 3 coming in with 101 Dalmatians of their own. I should say speed run fans. Welcome in Raiders. Hope that you really enjoyed the race that was uh, broadcast on SG3. That was indeed more Super Metroid item randomizer league season 3 action. Or, no, please don't spoil the outcome because I don't think anyone here has not everyone here has seen the end of that race but uh i'm sure it was an excellent one i happen to tune in myself before jumping in the commentary booth for this amazing race so you see really good seed we had early suit pickups both suits were in brinstar both of them in off of green brinstar shaft abundant beam selections but no plasma beam to be found doesn't matter because our teams are fully strapped with what they need you know it kind of reminds me of that song it's like you you got what i need but i can't find plasma beam but i can't find plasma beam oh oh well you you got what i need seed you know it's just fun we're just having fun here on a thursday night it's no problem at all the Clippers. Oh, we are going to... Oh, this is it, Chat. We got the DLC 1994 to 2021. Nintendo still supporting this game, unlike the Wii Store. Womp, womp. But uh, Nasarius taking Kraid to prom and then promptly dumping him. Poor Kraid. Never... <laughs> never the apple of anyone's eyes. Just someone you drop like a bad habit. So... I mean, the Clippers are almost done with all the bosses, but how about where the entrance to Torian is? I don't know if the Clippers know where that is. I know that, uh, I know the chat. Chat knows. I know, but I'm just wanting to see if chat knows. That's the quiz I was talking about before. That's right. Croc entry, that is correct, but correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, I don't know if the Clippers know that. They might not know that, or they may have to just figure it out. But, you know, Team Team does know that. That is a really crucial piece of information. You know, you defeat all the bosses, now where do you go? Now what do you do? Well, you go to Crocomire. You go to Crocomire, no problem. Lomi and Jones about to finish off the ghost. So for Team the Clippers, Bustin' makes me feel good. And you know it would. Both ghosts busted. All we have left is Dragon for the Clippers. All we have left for Woody is Kraid. But Kish, unfortunately, having to take that. He took that death earlier. Still two bosses to fight. Nasarius with a ship refill here and a save, a really heads up play. Always a good idea to save the game. Get your copy pots about saving the game ready. Because you gotta remember to save the game. 
you know, it's customary in Super Metroid speedrunning to sign off with see you next mission. Well, you know what, speed gamers? This is the next mission. This has been terrific. Absolutely terrific race. All the talent, all the skill on display from start to finish. You see all the movement techniques that they've used. It's been absolutely spellbinding, absolutely phenomenal. Tremendous competition. You just love to see it. And I hope you've all enjoyed it very much, too. So this is it. Nasarius into Dragon via Kraid. With a great complement of ammunition. Great beam combination. Just going to take care of those turrets first. And Lomian Jones is still kind of in the Firefly area looking for that croc. Looking for that croc of a boss. And Woody finding speed. Or I guess he went to X-Ray. I thought he already had speed. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chad. But uh, really nice to manage the goop is Nasarius with those power bombs and just continuing to pound Dragon's soft underbelly with those super missiles. Farming power bombs. Thank you very much, Chad. Farming power bombs. It's an honest living. You know, when you gotta break the Meridia tube, you need power bombs, so... You know, gotta farm up those PBs. So all bosses are down for the Clippers, but they have to find the G4 entrance, the Golden 4 statue entrance. I can see why everyone calls it G4. It's a lot more succinct. A lot. If brevity isn't your thing, you can just call it the Golden 4 statue. But who wants to do that? We ain't got time for that. Lomi Jones has got to be careful here. Got to take that save. 34 energy, nothing in the reserve tank. So, at Main Street of Meridia, searching, running and gunning, trying to find that entrance. I gotta agree, chat. The the open the open save station does kind of creep me out a little bit, but I also love it at the same time. Is that weird? I think that's weird. That's pretty weird. But there's no telling. There's no telling where this could be. But all the bosses are defeated. So I think I think that Lomian Jones is on the right track. Uh, Chad, it is not vanilla. It is in the croc entry, but our runners have to find the croc entry. And I think Lomian Jones is getting warmer and warmer. He's burning up. Burning up. And I believe he's done it. He has found the way. Clippers have found G4. This is it. This could be it, folks. This could be the race. First down in Detorian is Lomian Jones. Nasarius is just putting it into high gear, trying to get to that croc entryway. He's right behind him. Incredible stuff from the Clippers. Lomian Jones into these Metroid rooms. Great ammunition. Got that ice beam. No reason to powerbomb any Metroids. Just have to get through this onslaught of Metroids. And once Team T makes the tutorial, we're going to see some Metroid on Metroid crime. Just phenomenal stuff from both teams. But the Navigators, the Compass, the Human Compass, the Human Tom Tom GPS, whatever you want to say. Clippers have really done a phenomenal job with this seed. Looks like Lomian Jones taking damage off those iron side hoppers. No problem. Looking for that baby skip, or maybe my favorite strat, which is the baby skip skip. 
Woody has defeated all the bosses, so he's going to make a beeline for that, uh, I should say, uh, croc entryway to get to G4. But unfortunately, Kish still with two bosses, two bosses to fight. I think it's going to be put, it's been put out of reach for Team Team, borrowing, I should say, barring any catastrophes. So Lomi and Jones with a perfectly executed baby skip skip. And we'll see what Nasarius lines up to do. Nasarius damaged himself down, getting grabbed by the baby Metroid, no problem. Never look back, always face left. Just, you know, discard that two thirds of a second. They don't need it. Team the Clippers doesn't need it. They've got this under control. Would love to see a safety save. Very good, Lomi and Jones. I love it. I love a safety save here. You've you've done so well to get this far. Got to consolidate. Always consolidate your effort, speed gamers. And that is that is the definition of consolidation of effort. Is a save before mother brain. Lomi Jones looking, looking for that, looking for that Zeb skip, going with this, freeze the rink of strat, just trying to get through that Zeb. No safety from Nasarius, and Lomi and Jones is through, very well done. Let's see Nasarius' attempt here. Meanwhile, Kish is about to do battle with Ridley, I believe. Great item loadout, but health looking a little bit sketchy. Not even two full tanks. Lomi Jones made very quick work of Mother Brain 1. Nasarius is through Mother Brain 1. We got triple boss fights, chat. I'm on the edge of my seat. And I'm about to break. No, I'm not. Nothing's breaking now. Hockey's in control. Hockey's driving the bus, but these runners are bringing home the bacon. You got super missile delivery. Uh, wave ice spacer shots. It usually takes 60 of those, but with this many supers, it's not going to take nearly that many. Woody has found his way back to the croc entry, so he's on his way to G4. Kish, though, still just pounding Ridley with all that ammunition. It looks like uh, both runners on the Clippers are going to be entering the catch up phase for Mother Brain in short order but mother brain on both of them extremely extremely aggressive and oh kish took a death oh no all the way back at the wrecked ship oh that's gonna sting a lot catch up face for nasarius lomi and jones into the baby cutscene, getting pounded by that rainbow beam ouch taking all that health down Oh, you hate to see it from from Kish, but he's going to dust himself off and try again. Woody into the Metroid rooms. And this is very curious. Oh, Woody does not have normal bombs. Neither one on Team Team has normal bombs. So if he gets latched on by a Metroid, he is unable to shake it off. He's got to use power bomb. So Kish round two fight against Ridley the rematch don't call it a comeback but Woody through first three Metroid rooms and the Clippers are just chilling in this cutscene about to take a victory lap leaving the planet Zebus once they defeat Mother Brain 3 but Kish 71 energy 22 supers on tap looking for that pogo pattern looking to deliver all of that ammunition right to ridley manipulating ridley into that pogo getting that corner trap going he's saving those supers for the color change on ridley so he can deliver maximum damage in the shortest amount of time and woody's setting up for baby skip 
He's got the jump rope jumps. He's clearing away the moss. Oh, but he gets snatched right at the end there. Tough luck, Woody. That was a great attempt. Great attempt. Hyper beam activated for both runners of the Clippers. It's going to take 36 shots. Delivered to Mother Brain's face with that hyper beam, the strongest beam in the game. And Lomian Jones has done it. Defeated Mother Brain 3. All he's got to do now is the escape. And Kish, don't call it a revenge tour. Kish has defeated Ridley. Very nice fight. Very patient. 18 supers delivered to Ridley there at the end. Woody going to set up for Mother Brain 1. Lomian Jones is on the escape. Nasarius is on the escape. The Clippers are bringing it home. They are just a minute or two away from victory. They are absolutely going for it in a must-win situation to have any shot at the playoffs. Just an absolutely incredible effort. You just love to see it. You love to see the competitive spirit. You just you you can't you can't say more. I'm gonna keep flapping my gums. I'm gonna go blue in the face, trying to come up with enough superlatives to describe how much these races get me going and how much they should get you going too. But my goodness, Woody with a Zeb skip into Mother Brain one. How about an escape spark right side from Lomian Jones? into parlor nasarius not far behind having completed the leodox room sparking all the way up the climb right side sparks for both members of the clippers just the timer is just ticked barely above an hour this has been an incredible seed from both runners loaming jones bringing it home to the ship loaming jones fishing for the clippers with an official srl time of one minute I should say one hour, one minute, and one second. GG's to Lomian Jones. And Nasarius finishing in second with an official SRL time of one hour, one minute, and 11 seconds. GG's to the Clippers. They did it. They defeated Team Team. And uh, yeah, could have ramifications for entering the playoffs. But don't touch that dial because we still have we still have Team Team. Woody is squaring off against Mother Brain 2. And Kishmo is going to go defeat Dragon. But we'll see if our runners will join us um, from the team, the Clippers, if they'll join us for an interview. All right, here we go. Welcome in today's winners, the Clippers, Nasarius and Lomian Jones. GGs and congratulations. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. So amazing teamwork and amazing navigational skills were on display and what started off as a pretty tricky seed. Yeah, there was a lot of time before it was clear where we were sort of expected to go. And then we suddenly found both suits, and yeah, everything was open pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it laid out pretty well with like you just had one chunk with Meridia, one with Norfair. Each took one. No, it was it was a terrific race. Um, I felt like I don't want to assume anything, but during the race, I didn't see if you had checked the croc entry, which you know turned out to be G four. And that was a piece of information that Woody and Kish had. So I was wondering if that was going to come into play. But I feel like you both kind of had pretty much been around the world and you knew just to make a beeline for there. I did check that at some point. Oh, you did? You did? Yeah. Okay. Excellent, excellent. So I think right after Bold Mountain. Got it, got it. Excellent, excellent play. No, it was, it was a f fantastic race. I mean, you both finished within, you know, 10 seconds of each other. Uh, awesome seed, awesome play. Walk us through a little bit more about your decision making and some of the interesting things you found in the seed. Uh, yeah, it was one of those seeds where, you know, mostly you had a lot of, well, first we had uh, 
down Cra or Dragon and Ridley first. That's always fun. <laughs> so it was kind of one of those ones where it's just trying to, to get to every exit as quickly as possible to, to figure out what goes where and where the seed expects you to go. For sure, for sure. And I'm getting confirmation from uh, Randomizer League organizer Tracy M that today's victory does clinch a playoff spot for you. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, that's shocking. And when we joined, I, I, I told the, the, the guys that, like, okay, we're almost definitely not going to make playoffs. So, like, the, the, <laughs> the playoff roles don't matter. But, yeah, we did it. Yeah, it's terrific. Uh, you, you, you thought you had no shot at the playoffs, and here you are in week seven, clinching it. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. What what are you looking forward to the most come the playoffs? I'm hoping for more area, Rando. This is <laughs> when I when I play seeds just on my own volition. There, like ninety something percent of the time, it's going to be an area Rando. It's my favorite, for oh, sure. That, that's terrific. That's terrific. Well, yeah, thank yeah. You. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Misaris. No, uh, I just got to uh, practice dash again and hope we get uh, paired against some opponents we can actually have a chance against. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Field is strong. It is. This has been an incredibly uh, competitive, a uh, lot of competitive teams in this uh, season. Really impressed. Uh, I know that the good boys were kind of trying to sneak their way into the playoffs uh, in the race before, and then they SG3 brought all 101 of their viewers to your race. So it had an awesome crowd, awesome turnout, and. I could use awesome one more time, an awesome victory for you guys. So, uh, GG's and congrats on making the playoffs. Thank you. I see we have a finish. Yeah, Woody has finished in third place with a time of one hour, five minutes, and 19 seconds. Kish is still just dealing with Dragon, but I think, yeah, they're definitely going to finish this seed. So, how was their run overall? Uh, their run, it was, it looked like they had taken a bit of a lead on you both at the beginning, kind of in like the item, uh, discovery phase, but unfortunately, uh, I think Woody and then down the stretch, Kish took some really untimely deaths, unfortunately. Um, and I think that's what kind of put them behind. Although it was, it was brilliant play from, from both of you guys. I think if, uh, neither of them had died, I think it would have been an extremely close race. Excellent. Oh, and Kish has actually taken a death here. And according to SRL, has forfeited from the race. So Woody finished, but unfortunately, Kish having forfeit does forfeit for the team. So we'll see if they'll jump in also for an interview. But yeah, definitely GG's to Kish. That was a really tough seed. Uh, GG's also to Woody. Um, Ed, you get, do you have any any last words or any any parting words to share with uh, with the audience? Doing it again at uh, six o'clock on Saturday. Outstanding. Who are you playing? Same uh, same team. I, I think AD uh, Android Dreams is stepping in for Kish. On gotcha, that one. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I wish you the best of luck. That should be another great race. All right, thank you, and thanks for all the organizers, trackers, and your comms. Hello, everyone. Hey, Woody, it's... GG's. Hey, GG, uh, GG. Hockey. GG, guys, thanks. That was a really good race. That was a really good time from you guys, too, almost sub hour, which I yeah. have not seen yet. Yeah, it's thank like you. five minutes better than our best practice, which is surprising. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, pretty, it was a good seed. Um, I lost. A lot of time I died uh, getting Ice Beam, and that was a bummer. Uh, but other than that, or I'm sorry, I died getting Space Jump at Ice Beam, and that set us back quite a bit. I had to start over at the beginning. But other than that, oh, I, think, uh... I think we did we did pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm happy with the way that that we played. It just uh, you guys must have God routed it. So again, congrats. That's uh, that's a yeah, darn good time. It, it laid out pretty well as far as. You know, I was pretty much chasing this area for most of the start, but then once we got those suits, we were able to sort of spread out. And yeah, it, it became a it became a boss rush pretty early. Mm -hmm. um, yeah.
Yeah, we had a practice seat where we had like two suits and pink or green Brinstar as well. So that just seems to be a theme. Gotcha. Yeah, I had to. I had to tell Kish um, probably two minutes before the match started that the bosses are randomized in this match. So he did. Oh he dear. Did, he did zero. Absolutely zero prep, which is fine. Uh, we still had fun, uh, and thankfully this won't be around in the playoffs so yeah we we weren't we weren't too i have never done one of these before we've not we have not practiced i practiced tracking because the uh, the tracker on the website is pretty tough if you don't you can get the rooms confused you get the portals confused so yeah. i just want to make sure i was familiar enough with that and then i watched and it was a lot of fun uh but yeah no no practice for for team <laughs> well you guys are set pretty much right with your yeah i i think so now i don't know how my good boys did um i don't know if they won or lost or not but in a way this might kind of put us together with the rest of the teams that are up there because i don't really want to face the good boys and they're going to be in a position where they're going to have to play one of the higher teams yeah so uh, maybe we're maybe we've done ourselves a service here. I'm not sure. I don't uh, think there are any safe seeds in the, yeah, the way no. things are standing. <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I mean, hockey. I don't suppose you've got any questions. Did well, I? I I've I've stupid? always got I've always got questions. So I know that you, according to the schedule or according to the spreadsheet, uh, team team has already clinched their division. Um, yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how that happened. Uh, <laughs> through really determination, don't. through blood and sweat, Woody. How else? I uh, no comment. Well, you know, you know what they say, Woody. Uh, if you won't take my, if you won't take my, um, what's the word? If, my, if you won't take any of my praiseworthy words of encouragement, then I will leave you with this, Woody. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> I think we're I think we're an average here. team who got very lucky. Uh, a few no, times. I think I think you guys did a wonderful job. Uh, do you know if Kish wants to join in for an interview? No, I mean, Kish Kish does not want to join in for an interview. But I asked him okay. if there was anything he wanted to say, and he said not in particular. Got it. Got it. <laughs> so well, I, pre had... I appreciate it because uh, I just want to make sure that he was extended the courtesy, and you know, if he wanted to join, he could join. But uh, yeah. yeah, Woody, any any parting words? I think we're getting ready to wrap things up. No, no. Uh, good game to Lomi and Jones and Nasarius again. Uh, pushing sub hour is a darn good time for this type of race. So you guys must have done a really good job communicating. Uh, and other than that, I mean, that's really all I have to say. I thought the seed was fine. I liked, I liked the early placement. Honestly, I was feeling pretty good. Um, but yeah, we saw you guys finish when I was in Torian and. It's just all there is to it. So, GG. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for playing, and we'll uh, see you guys around. I think you guys are pretty, pretty close to clinching a playoff spot if yeah, you haven't already. Put us into second for our division behind. Excellent. Check Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Absolutely. Take it easy. And we'll I'm gonna. An AD on uh, Saturday. Yep. It sure will be. Uh, AD. AD is our our team captain. He is definitely the. That guy is like uh, super good at mapping and routing things in his head. I, I just have to listen to him, so <laughs> it works out. So we're we're gonna we're gonna bring the heat on Saturday. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. We'll get our revenge. Me too. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks again, Hockey, for commentating, and thanks to D Tones for tracking. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, Woody. everybody. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Thanks so much, Woody, and thank you, Lomi Jones and Nasarius, for joining us. Congratulations on the victory to the Clippers. Uh, tough loss for Team Team, but again, both teams into the playoffs. So we'll definitely be seeing them very very soon. So before we sign off tonight, let's just take a look at the old schedule here. There's a whole slew of games, I should say races, 
We got four races kicking off in the prime time spot, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that's tomorrow, Friday, April 16th. And then check the schedule because they're starting as early as 11 a.m. Uh, EDT on Saturday and going all day into the evening and with a couple races on Sunday. So definitely tune in to your watch your favorite team either you know win a race for bragging rights or potentially clinch a playoff spot and a huge shout out to 2d tones for tracking does a wonderful job every time and a very special shout out to all the crew and volunteers at speed gaming so in lieu of my customary sign off when commentating super metroid speed running i will simply say this has been the hockey towner and i wish you all a very pleasant evening and a wonderful tomorrow